five things that support players do that annoy the ABC. Let's talk about it. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Miss Chim Chim and I get asked this question a lot and it's more so from supports so that they know what not to do. And as an ADC player, I think it would be really good to shed light upon some of the things that support players do during laning phase that kind of irks an ADC. Now, full disclaimer, this is not me dragging support players. I'm not over here saying that I'm the best ADC player in the world and I know everything that I support should be able to do. This is not me saying that I know how to play the support role and that uh, I know what a support should be doing at all times. No, this is me as an ADC simply saying things that irk an ADC player from an ADC standpoint. I only have the ADC standpoint because I am only an ADC player, okay? Let me just get that out of the way before some of these support players come for me. They're like, mm, Reagan, you don't even know how to play support. Like, this is not what I'm supposed to Sis. Okay, so the first and foremost, the most annoying in all honesty, this should probably be last, but y'all, we sitting under tower, we getting poked the house. I'm losing minions left and right, and you really not gonna auto them to try and help set up the minions so that I can farm? So now not only do we have to sit back, but I don't get farm and gold so that we can scale? Help me, sis. Help me, please. <laughs> Um, yeah, just don't sit there and watch me take all of this damage and not be able to still get something out of it by sitting under tower. Nothing is worse than going up against a, a Sivir, who's a super pusher, or a Caitlyn, somebody who's just trying to look to push the wave and get tower plates. Nothing is worse than going up against that ADC and you're losing out on so much minions because your support is just sitting there. I mean, sis, they're probably watching Netflix on the second monitor. Like, I don't know. What are y'all doing over there? What are y'all doing? You're just watching me miss this farm and you're not even helping. And like, I would love to blame Yumi's, but y'all, I'm going to be honest. Yumi's are some of the greatest help me auto under tower support players. So like, honestly, I'm, I'm going to give these Yumi's a round of applause. Y'all really be, y'all, that's one thing about a Yumi player. They going to set up the minions under the tower. But genuinely, nothing feels better than getting shoved in in the Nami or who's another support player that normally autos under tower it's definitely not Senna and it's definitely not Sona get it together but anyways nothing is better than under tower and then the Nami autos the minion and you're able to see us and let me break it down for you for the support players who do not know so now you can go forth and then you can help that ADC farm under tower melee minions the tankier ones they get two tower shots and then the ADC can auto them without your assistance. They just need a little bit of HP bar, just a little bit. And you can kind of get the feel for how much or which minions need an auto and which ones don't. But the ranged minion, they take one tower shot and if it's level one early game, they need one auto from you, the support, or two autos from the ADC to kill that minion. So if you see a ranged minion approaching tower with full HP bar and the tower hits it once, you hit it once before the ADC and then the ADC hits it. Perfect CSing. It's absolutely beautiful. And I'll show you the health bars. So these are the health bars that you need to kind of like get the feel for, for when the ADC will actually be able to hit it. So if it looks like this and it's a ranged minion, you need to auto it so you can help them. You see what I'm saying? Like just, just do the, do the, do the maths, do the math. Okay. Second annoying thing, Lux. Lux mains, you the main ones I'm talking to, you and me, right here, right now. Stop using your abilities on the wave if I'm trying to freeze. Do you hear me? Let me say it again. Stop using your abilities, mainly your E, on the wave if I'm trying to freeze. Do you hear me? Did you hear it? Replay it if you have to. Press the back button if you got it. If you if you need to read it again, if you need to hear it again, hear it as many times as you need to, up until the point that you stop using your abilities on the wave if I'm trying to freeze. I don't know how many times I need to say it. And then you get upset when I ping, stop. You get upset if I type to you, hey, can you please not use your abilities on the wave? And then you get upset, you rage quit, and now you stealing all my minions, and now we're fighting for minions and now I'm even further behind, not only on farm, but also XP because you're farming the minions while I'm trying to take it back. I'm sick, I'm sick. That's something that I could rant on forever, but I think it's a pretty simple, I think it's a pretty simple statement and it doesn't need to be elaborated on more or else this video is going to turn into a 30 minute video. So let's wrap it up and move on to the next one. So number three, um, it's, it's the opposite of what I just went on a rant of. Let me paint the scene for you. 
we just got a double kill good job go team but we're level two so the wave needs to be pushed immediately why are you sitting in the bush twiddling your thumbs looking at me like this sis do something help me push we got to get this under their tower so we can get back and we can get back to lane when they do so that we are ready to receive the xp and the minions that are going to inherently push back to us please sis what are you doing why are you just standing there help me help me it's okay reagan you're not in game, you're not in game. i have trauma why do you think i'm learning jungle <laughs> Get me out of the bot lane. I'm about to take my talents to the top lane. And you know what? That might be a rant for another time. This is just gonna be a video of about a bunch of rants. But yeah, I'm gonna take my ADCs to the top lane and there's nothing that y'all can do about it. Fight me in the top lane, sis. Let's see what you can do against my vein. <laughs> Go Wukong and we'll see who wins. <laughs> okay, number four. And as you can see, a lot of the things in this list are all about communication, but not communicating on engages and disengages. This is a huge thing because this can set the tempo for bot lane. So if you don't ping like, hey, I'm going in, like, yes, I'm watching, but I'm also trying to manage this wave, right? So this communication would, thanks to the ping wheel, honestly, would help bot laners not get so toxic towards each other. Because if I know that you're about to go in or I know you're looking for an engage, for example, if you are playing against the swain and you see the swain use his root and miss it that's the perfect time for engage so if i'm looking for it and i know that you're looking for it once i see it used it's time to go in but just let me know that you're looking let me know that you're ready you're comfortable to go in and that way we can both be on the same page to go in together that way nobody gets flamed for not going in when the other person is trying to go in does that make sense i really hope i explained that well but on the same note disengages let me know ping me if you're trying to disengage so i'm not trying to stay there and help you get out of a sticky situation or help them not focus you and i'm all inning i'm ready to be on the front line of the battlefield while you're over here trying to walk back to base let me know ping me off this type of communication literally saves lives in league of legends and i don't know why we as a player base are so sensitive when it comes to not pings but spamming pings and pings and, and typing but this type of communication is literally the reason that it's there so we can be on the same page and play as a team. I really hope that makes sense because that is huge. Communication is huge. And when it comes to this new ping wheel that League of Legends has given us, which has freeze, hold, engage, disengage, bait, I want to be able to use it and not have people think that I'm flaming them. I want to simply just communicate and play a game. That's it. That's it. That's it. And last but not least, and I think every ADC can understand this. And like, yes, I understand that they're roam timers, but babes, you cannot spend your whole time mid lane. Come back by. I'm 2v1. Help me, please. Like, it, I understand if like we get a lead bot lane. Like, say I'm 4 and 0, oh, like I'm super strong. Woo. But don't make me throw that lead by you going mid lane to help mid lane get ahead now and you staying mid lane or you going top lane and you staying top lane. And now their jungler sees that I'm literally alone bot for the whole time and I'm getting tower dove after tower dove. I can't even step up to the minion wave. I can't get XP. I can't get farm. I can't get CS. I'm dying. I'm giving away shutdowns do you see the problem and yes you can debate that this is a skill issue just back up just don't even approach the tower but we are throwing that lead that we had because i am no longer able to get the xp the farm because i'm sitting under my tier 2 tower now because i can't even approach because their jungler their support is still saying bot lane and what are you doing top maybe you're not even able to get the ganks off maybe you died top maybe you died mid the other mid was able to 2v1 or something like that we have thrown our lead because you are roaming forever this is not me simply saying like oh never roam no there are definitely roam timers when it is efficient for the support to roam you need to learn that time you need to learn that timing so that you can be on it and you cannot throw your lead bot lane you cannot make your adc get even further behind because you're roaming mindlessly at the wrong times when the adc needs your support and 
again, this is not me coming at support specifically, but like you need to understand that simply you being there, presence, the presence of your abilities, your roots, your stuns, your heels, your shields, the simple threat of that, you don't even have to use it, but the simple threat that you have these abilities and that you are in the area is enough to ward off the enemy team, ward off the enemy bot laners from engaging on me. The simple threat of you being there hinders that. So when you are no longer present, I am now in danger. I just feel like that needs to be said. And yes, again, I am not a support player. I do not know every efficient roam timer. I understand that. But this is me from an ADC standpoint. Y'all can claim skill diff any day of the week. I understand that. But what I'm saying is just help me not die. Support me as the support. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Is that too much to ask? I don't know. A lot of people like to say that ADC players are selfish and big headed and they think that the world revolves around them. And like when you're the main character, or like that's just <laughs> sorry you're not us like i don't know i don't know but this brings me up to my next question i want to ask you guys what are some things that adcs do that you hate because that is probably going to be my next video or a video coming up so definitely let me know what are some things as as not only the support but the jungler mid laner and top laner what are some things that adcs do that just absolutely piss you off let me know down in the comments but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you have a topic that you want me to discuss let me know down in the comments and don't forget that i stream every day at twitch.tv slash Miss Chum Chum at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And until the next video, love you, bye.